So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing how you can actually create regular income as a self-employed person so that you could go away on vacation and still make money while you are on holiday. In fact, while you're sleeping, while you're playing with your kids, while you're doing anything you want, it's amazing. So stay tuned. Hey, you are watching Ask Carrie, where I answer your business questions. And I wanna talk about how you can actually generate passive income. So how you can be self-employed and still earn money when you go away, when you sleep, when you party, whenever you want, <laughs> which is great because one of the biggest fears people have around becoming self-employed is, well, if I'm self-employed and I get ill or I go on holiday, my income is gonna dry up. And it doesn't have to. So you can set up your business so that you can be generating passive income. Passive income means you are generating money kind of on autopilot. So money is coming in. It's not an exchange of your time for the money. And so that's what you really want to think about. So when you're starting your business, if you are exchanging time for money, let's say I'm a fitness instructor and I make money because people come and see me and I train them up and they pay me for doing a personal training session for an hour. So obviously in that example, I've only got so many hours in the day. There's only so many hours I can actually do a personal training session with somebody. So there's a limit on one, how much I can make, but also if I go on holiday, then I am not making money because I'm not doing the one-on-one -on -one sessions with people. So a couple of ideas. One, let's say this is you and that's how your business model works. You could look at creating client retainers. So this means that somebody pays you a retainer. So let's say somebody wants to have four sessions with you a week. Well, you get them to pay for a month's worth of sessions and they can have four sessions a week. But if they don't have four sessions that week, or let's say you're like, okay, I'm going on holiday this week, I'm not available. Those sessions just roll over. And so you are still getting that money in, but the sessions have rolled over. And when you get back, you can make up for it. So that is one idea of getting around it, but that still doesn't get around the fact that there's only so many hours in the day. You've only got so many one hour slots to fill. So it is good to think about how you can actually take your knowledge, your ideas, your expertise, your passion, and turn it into passive income. So what is passive income and what does that look like? What do I actually mean? So I mean that's where you take your knowledge and your ideas and your skills and you turn it into say a digital product or a course or even a membership site. So like the fitness idea, taking the knowledge you have around fitness, about training, about working people out and turning it into an online program where you are not limited by the number of hours you have in a day. You can serve hundreds and thousands of people through your online programs where you teach them how to work out. You could either do it as like a live training, so where you do it live together and you all get together live and you, and you work out, which a lot of people have been doing since lockdown over Zoom. Um, or you could create a course, you could set up an app, you could have a program where people pay you on a month by month basis to get your fitness workouts and your top fitness tips to help them to actually get a result. So that is an example of switching from somebody coming to physically see you and you exchanging an hour of your time to get paid um, and being able to help lots more people. You can create exponential growth when you have a course or a membership or a, an app where people are paying you on a, on a monthly basis to tap into your knowledge and your expertise. Um, again, you can do it through a course. So um, let's say, for example, you're a graphic designer and that's your skill set. And so people come to you and you create graphics for them. So again, you have to exchange your time for money. And there's nothing wrong with doing that, by the way. Lots of people have successful businesses doing that but it's just thinking of ways you can actually create passive income so that you don't have to be relying on your time in order to make money, therefore making your business less risky. So for example, if your skill set is graphic design, you could create a course teaching other people how to create beautiful graphics. So if you think about the clients that come to you, well, let's say you're a graphic designer and you help small businesses to create beautiful graphics for social media. Well, how about you teach small business owners how to create their own beautiful graphics so they can do it themselves. So they could come and take your online course and learn those skills and create it for themselves. But then obviously a lot of people want to learn that, but then there's still gonna be people who are like, no, you're the expert, can you just do it for me? So it's not that you're gonna shoot yourself in the foot and get rid of all your one-on-one -on -one clients, but there's just a different marketplace for people who wanna just do it themselves and for it to be a lower cost and people who wanna work with you one-on-one. -on -one. 
So, but the, the, the course idea is going to generate passive income because once you set up that course and people start buying it from you, then people can be buying when you're asleep. You can be hearing that cha-ching coming through on your phone when you're sleeping, when you're out with your friends, when you are playing with your kids, that you can still be getting sales coming through on your course. So when you're starting your business or when you're building a business, you want to be looking at how can you create uh, revenue streams of passive income. So passive income, so you set it up and then it keeps generating revenue for you. And again, you can do it with a digital product. Um, I know lots of people who have created really successful digital products and they've put them on Etsy and people just find them on Etsy, the Etsy marketplace. Um, whether it's like a digital product for goal setting. Uh, the amazing Michelle Raw, a friend of mine, she created her ultimate life binder. She put it for sale on Etsy. It was a, it's, a, it's still for sale. It's a, it helps you to organize your life. So you can actually work your way through it to help you organize yourself. She originally started selling it for $21. The price has since increased, but the last time I'd spoken to her about this, she made well over $100,000 selling this digital printable. So every time someone bought that digital printable for her, Etsy delivered it. So she didn't have to physically do anything. So it's incredible what you can create online. And so it's just looking at smart ways to make money that work for you because Yes, being an entrepreneur is about serving people, but it's also about being able to get intentional about the life you want to live, the business you want to build. What kind of business do you actually want to build? So getting really clear on that is really powerful because then from that place, you can look at the different business models that could suit you. And you can, whatever your skill set, your knowledge, your ideas, your expertise, there is always a way to generate passive income. So don't forget that. Just get researching, get looking into it. I have tons of resources for you on this topic. So if you want more help to think of ways to generate passive income for yourself, whether it's a course, a membership, a digital product, whatever it is, then head on over to fea.link forward slash passive income fea.link forward slash passive income and I will share all the resources that we have available for you on actually getting going with some of these ideas. Um, just know that you can do it, you can generate passive income, it's incredible, um, so just go for it. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions you would like to ask me, then come over to Instagram at Female Entrepreneur Association and ask away or leave me a comment and I will see you next week for another episode of Ask Harry.